Hello friends, this is an unboxing of a Longines Hydro Conquest Chronograph Automatic Watch which is cream in color comes with a silver Longines name and the logo when we take out the box we use a manual it's pretty thick because it comes in all the various languages Keep it aside, get the wrapping film out. Nest in a box. Isn't it beautiful looking? Let's just get the outer box aside. This inner box comes with, I think it's polished wood. Some stainless steel hinges at the back. Really beautiful. Gives you the feeling that you have purchased a really expensive exclusive watch. Once we open the box, you get the watch inside. Now this watch has got a blue dial with a blue colored bezel. And uh, you may not actually find it on the Longines website, at least this particular the sunburst color and that is because it's fairly recent that it has been launched it used to be available in a chronograph I mean in a, a quartz version earlier but uh, no automatic version of the sunburst blue dial was available and up until about a, a month ago I guess so let's take a closer look at this watch now keep the box aside now that I've got the box aside and uh, let me show you the details. This watch is uh, 41 mm in diameter without of course the crowns and as you can see it's a chronograph. Uh, this movement is uh, known as the Longines Caliber L688.2 which is of course based on the ETA Valjean 7750 movement and uh, it's heavily like you know modified and it has been produced by ETA just for long jeans and uh, the difference between this movement and a standard Valjean movement is the addition of a column wheel which supposedly provides more accuracy to the movement that is there in this watch the watch is all stainless steel polished from the sides it's got a satin finish here now earlier models of this particular watch had some polish finish right at the middle of this steel bracelet but it's gone now it's all all satin it's all satin all the way around it's a pretty heavy watch actually i have taken out four links from it and it's still about 192 grams with the links i guess it will probably be about 230 240 grams in all it gives a very very solid feel when it's on your hand it's about 15 mm thick as you can see here let me take this bit out here. it's about 15 mm thick and the lugs are curved inwards so that uh, they rise uh, they rest very nicely up against your wrist that's where we have the push uh, the pushing element to adjust uh, the date It's got this unidirectional bezel which is normal in all these dive watches and the grooves allow it to be moved and uh, it's got this Arabic numerals some of it is uh, a bit concealed because of, uh, of the chronograph the crown here is actually a screw down crown opens in two positions we're just the time here and if you look at this you can actually calculate one fifth of a second if you look very closely onto the bezel here you can see there are some red markers between the, the seconds the white the seconds markers and if you start the chronograph here it will actually measure all the way up to one fifth of a second 
this dial here represents the minutes 10 20 and 30 it's got a different color than the other dials this one is the hour style and this one is the small second style so you can stop it come back really easy to operate this watch is about 300 meters water resistant and although it does not have a display case back it comes with this exclusive flangines EFCO Hydro Conquest satin finished steel case back which I think is the norm for generally all of the diver watches the buckle here is actually a three way buckle and it also has the driver's extension which the divers generally use if they have to wear the watch on top of their suits it goes in here so that's a little button and that's on top of it that's it I've got very thin wrists so I've got four lengths out but the overall weight of the watch is really good it really feels way on your wrist and the best thing that I love about the watch is basically the sunburst style so it gives you different shades of the blue the other options which are available on this model are basically I think they've got a white dial version with the black bezel they've got uh, I think a red dial version as well with the black bezel and they've got the standard black dial with the black bezel this watch retails for around 1450 pounds here in the UK but you can get very good discounts if you uh, if you take a look online and if you order it online so that was just a quick a very quick review and unboxing of the Hydro Conquest the reason I made this particular video was because I didn't I could not um, like you know, come across a similar video and uh, when I was was looking to purchase this watch but now that there is a video I'll be uploading it shortly anyone who is interested to purchase this watch can have a look get a general feel of the watch from various angles of how it looks and uh, get the specifications so let me show you how it will look when it's on your wrist so that's how the watch looks like on is just about right on this sort of a wrist so that was the unboxing of the Longines Head of Conquest I hope you enjoyed this video I will post some more videos of automatic watches and their unboxings in the near future thank you